and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I like to share tips on playing piano, as well as tutorials for beginners. Don't worry, you don't have to subscribe to anything. It's all free of cost. I also do little tidbits on how singing and the voice works. Most of this is pretty easy to do. Anyway, the reason why I started ch this channel is because I am really great at the piano. And also, I've had some people come up to me and ask if I could teach them. Unfortunately, I was unable to do so, but now we all have the chance to grow musically. Anyways, I wanted to tell you a little bit about me musically. I've been playing piano for around six years. It started in about 2015, and ever since then, I've just been practicing and mainly practicing, just getting better and better. I also do a little bit of video editing, but I'm not a professional. My favorite aspect of music is singing and how the voice works, whether it's chest voice, tenor, sopranos, dramatic sopranos, mezzo sopranos, altos, contraltos, and falsetto voice, head voice, chest voice, whistle notes, and whistle tones. I'm just really fascinated about singing. My family taught me to play piano, which is how I've learned, and I've also picked up some skill from being in church. My favorite singer is Whitney Houston. I absolutely love her voice and the way that she sings. My favorite pianist is Beethoven, mainly because of his beautiful arrangements. And those are some basic things about me musically. Anyway, I've been getting some questions from people. Like, how do you play this song? Or can you play this song? There is a pretty basic explanation to all these questions. And when you hear these different musical runs, it sounds so really good. And one thing that's fascinating for me is how one can change keys and timbres so smoothly. Those are called transition runs. It allows for you to seamlessly change keys. And in this video, I'm still learning about them, which is good because practice makes it perfect. With lots of practice, anyone can do anything that they want. Which is why I'm so glad to have this gift because music is very relevant in our lifestyle. The way that we express ourselves through music, the way that we show our pain can be through music. And that's the best part because you can basically use, use music to do pretty much anything. I meditate. While listening to music, I clean while I listen to songs. I even, while cooking, I like to hum a little too. Everybody has their first interaction with music. It could be your first concert, the first song that you've written and sung, or it could be your first time playing an instrument. Before I started playing piano, I had a drum set that I would play all day, and that kind of got me started into music. But then I sort of stopped playing drums and started playing piano. I first started playing piano back in early 2015. It was after church and I thought that the music sounded good. So I started playing on piano. The chords weren't as smooth, but I managed to arrange a little song. I really loved it and I got a small piano, which helped me to keep on practicing. Then comes mid-2019, I start playing in church and it felt really good because I was using my talent to help me. Fast forward to now, I am now doing a YouTube channel on how to play piano and tips on how to work musically. I hope that this YouTube channel can be a pleasure to deal with, to work with, and I hope I can help you out. Um, Anyways, I'm glad you could um, listen to me um, talk, give a brief explanation about all of this. Anyways, um, here's a little beautiful arrangement to finish off the video.
watching and I'll see you next time.